Hi everyone, this is Michaela Tennyson with the market update for Country Visions Cooperative for the week ending April 8th. This week, nearby corn finished up 36 cents, while new crop corn finished up 27 cents. Nearby soybeans finished up $1, while new crop soybeans finished up 91 cents. Nearby and new crop wheat finished up 75 cents. Weather outlooks show warm temperatures coming to the Corn Belt, but with it, there are increased chances of rain that could potentially hinder the start of planting. Ukraine's growing season it most likely will be highly disrupted, leaving many to wonder how the world will compensate for not having that supply. The U.S. Acres number from the Planting Intentions Report is unlikely to provide a full resolution, however, that is dependent on the U.S. yield. Also sounds like Brazil may have a big crop coming, so that could provide some help. USDA announced some old crop and new crop sales to China. Ethanol production remains to be strong. However, high crude oil and high gas prices have slowed down that demand. The USDA tweaked the U.S. balance sheet but left carryout unchanged. And the USDA also raised Brazil's corn production. Soybeans found some strength this week, borrowing some from wheat and corn because of things going on with Russia and Ukraine and further support from the energy markets. More cases of the bird flu are being announced daily and dead birds don't consume corn or meal. USDA reduced U.S. carryout by 25 million bushels and also reduced Brazil's soybean production. Wheat classes, wheat of all classes found support this week as Russians were striking a major export city in Ukraine. This week was the first week for the weekly crop condition report of the 2022 growing season. This showed winter wheat at 30% good to excellent compared to the 40% that is expected. Um, the USDA raised U.S. carryout from last month and dropped global wheat carryout, uh, leaving Ukraine and Russia untouched. Thank you for listening to this week's market update and have a great weekend.